Hey you guys, so welcome back to my channel. I've decided that I'm gonna wear my natural hair for a whole month. The reason why I came up with this decision is because I feel like I've been wearing protective styles, wigs, and things like that for like the past few years. I really haven't been wearing my natural hair for a long period of time in a long time. I feel like my hair is not cooperating. My natural hair is failing me. I wanted to make sure that I protected my hair as much as possible, so I decided to lay off wearing wigs, braiding my hair, any of that stuff. Just making sure my hair is worn out naturally more often so it can get back to its healthy state. I did wash my hair last night because I decided I wanted to deep condition my hair at least once a week. Uh, to get it back healthy and I will be using a lot of different products maybe every week when I do this This is week two last week when I started I deep conditioned my hair with the um, cream of nature clay and charcoal pre shampoo detoxifying clay mask this is what I used last week and that's only because it's pre-washed so your hair don't have to be clean in order to use it but this week I wanted to try this Auntie Jackie's Fix My Hair Intensive Repair Conditioning Mask. Now when you use it, your hair has to be clean. I washed my hair last night when I got home because I knew I was going to deep condition today. Because I'm going to deep condition either on Mondays or Tuesdays. I haven't really decided, but it will probably be Tuesdays. I washed it, I conditioned it, and that's it. I didn't put anything on it besides that. So I just put it in two ponytails or whatever, and I cord it up like this, and I suck like that. That's the reason why I'm gonna use this deep conditioning mask this week, just to see how it works. And the reason why I'm gonna be trying different treatments and different conditioners and shampoos and stuff like that is because I want to see what my hair likes. So I've been watching a whole lot of wash and go tutorials, a whole lot of natural hair tutorials and different things like that. I've learned that my hair is not a wash and go type. I won't say it would never be one, but in this state that it's in now, my hair is not a wash and go type of hair. When I'm done with my wash and go, it'll look probably like this. What I'm gonna do is mini twist, and I'll probably take out the twist, like do twist outs. For this week, I decided I'm not gonna do a twist out, I'm gonna do mini twist, and then I'll probably twist out like a few days after having a mini twist in, and then wear that style for the rest of the week because what I did last week was I did a twist out and that hairstyle lasted for all of one day. <laughs> and I was back uh, frizzy. Let's get started. I'm gonna section it off in four sections. So what I'm gonna do is take some hair out of the section. This says use on clean, damp hair, apply a generous amount all over hair, making sure hair is coated from roots to end. And then it say basically cover with a plastic cap and sit under a hooded dryer for 10 minutes. I'm not gonna do the hooded dryer part because I don't even have a hooded dryer. And I figured with a plastic cap over my head, my hair would definitely be sweaty because I sweat easily. It say remove cap and rinse all traces of mask from hair. As a regular rinse out conditioning treatment, leave one for five minutes and then rinse thoroughly. Towel blot hair and style as usual. Let's see how this works. This smells really good too. So I have um, a spray bottle. I'm gonna wet my hair. And yeah, I was really thinking, I was considering doing a big chop. And that's only because I feel like my hair is really damaged and I have a lot of um, like split ends. Like you can see like here, like y'all see that little, I have a lot of little short sections. I'm, I'm definitely considering just cutting like all of this off and having really, really short hair because I feel like my hair is kind of a whole lot of different lengths, different textures. So I just wanted to start over. That's probably why my hair get really frizzy. And like, if my twist outs can look like this curl, like, I'll be good. But I have a lot of frizz up here. Like, it gets really frizzy up there, so. Anywho, 
and I'll make sure I get all my strands evenly. I'm going to do a twist. I really love how this stuff makes my hair feel too. I'm so scared. I'm so afraid to do a big chop. Yeah, I haven't had long hair since, I don't even, I would say high school. When I was maybe in the, you know, when I'm early ages when my mom was doing my hair, my hair was long. Because your parents is doing your hair, they take care of your hair. And then when I went through the stages of doing my own hair, it fell out and my hair was really short. I had a little ponytail. My ponytail has never been like this, but my hair used to be like this and it was like really thin. And then in high school, I started braiding my hair. I braided my hair all the time in high school. From freshman year all the way up to like senior year, my hair grew. Like them four years, my hair grew really long. That's when I joined the Navy after high school and I wore a half wig going into boot camp. So the front of my hair was out and then I had the back of my hair was braided up and a half weave was on off. My RDC didn't know. Um, he ended up finding out after I took it out. I think our last haircut was like week six, from like week one to like week six. Only person that knew was my best friend that joined the military with me. After week six, I went and asked him like, are we good on haircuts? We have to, you know, get any more haircuts? And he was like, well, no, that was the last. So that night when everybody was sleeping, I went in the bathroom and took that half wig out in boot camp. You can't take showers when you want to and stuff like that. So I literally washed my hair in the sink. If you ever seen Major Pain, that's how it's kind of set up. Like a whole bunch of bunk beds and you know, a bathroom with a whole bunch of sinks and a huge shower. Now, this is a six week process of my hair being French braided underneath the cap and I'm swimming. I think around week two or week three, you go and do the swim test. So when I first did the swim test, I didn't pass. I was going swimming every single day. And of course that back part wasn't being washed because the wig was over it. I had so much damage back there. When I took those braids out, my hair smelled horrible like. Y'all would have thought that I didn't take baths. My hair carries like a mildew smell from the time I went swimming until that time I took that wig off. And of course, I hate how it smelled, but I didn't want them to know how long my hair was. I dealt with it. Like I used to, in the Navy, you can't wear scented anything. So everything that you buy is unscented. And the only hair products you have in boot camp is the pink lotion. I forgot what it's called. If I can look it up, I'll definitely like put it up here or something. But that's all you can have in your hair. I used to like put that in my hair and like feed it underneath the cap to massage it into my hair and it still smelled, y'all. Like I'm telling you, my hair smelled so bad. 
but I digress. After I took it off, I took down the braids like I had so much hair come out. It was really long because of course it was growing underneath that, that disastrous mess, but it was really thin. I combed it all out and I basically corn rolled all my hairs. The front part of my hair is like here and the back part of my hair is like here. What I ended up doing was corn rolling back because you can't put designs or anything. It has to literally be straight back, like Cleo, straight back. I braided it all the way back and then I rolled it all the way up into the smallest bun and kind of like put a rubber band on it. Somebody ended up snitching. I want to say it was my friend's friend. I went into boot camp with my best friend, Terry, and she got really cool with another girl named Taylor. When Taylor found out, she told her RDC. I got called into the office and my RDC was like, you know, take down your hair. And I was like, well, what do you mean? And he was like, you know, take the bun out. I'm like, oh Lord. So I took the bun out and he seen that it was really long. So he was like, you didn't get a haircut? I said, well, when I initially came in, the back part of my hair was a wig. That part didn't get cut. So I was like, are you gonna make me go get a haircut? He was like, well, no. But you kinda messed it up for everybody else after you because I'm gonna check every person's hair after you. And I'm just like, <laughs> Y'all, back then, they used to butcher people hair. It's better to go in with a, your hair cut the length that they want it to be because if it's not, they will fuck it. You will look all types of crazy. And you know back then you couldn't have locks. So we had one girl that had locks, y'all. And they literally like cut each individual lock out her head. So she had ball patches around her head. I felt so bad about her. And I ended up can't stand in that girl towards the end of boot camp, but that's neither here nor there. But anywho, y'all, <laughs> I don't want this video to be like super long and I'm sitting here yapping, yapping, yapping. I'm gonna do this other section and I'll be right back. So you guys, I did finish up and y'all, I'm loving how my hair feels. It just feels so good. We're gonna put the shower cap on to protect all this lusciousness. Anywho, you guys, I'm gonna let this sit for like an hour, maybe an hour, 30 minutes. I'm gonna cook dinner, eat, then wash it out, and then come back to show y'all how I style it. So you guys, I just finished washing it out. I think I kept it in for about an hour and a half, and I'm loving the way it feels. It feels nice and soft. Let's start um, doing these little individual twists. First put this Shea Moisture Make It Last Wash and Go Curl Primer. And I'm gonna put it in two different sections. So I'm not gonna really part it in certain ways. I'm just gonna take some sections. I'm also going to take this Aunt Jackie's Curl La La Defining Curl Custard. And I'm also going to use this E Post Styler um, Gel Coconut. Let's take a little bit. already off top I can tell whatever two products I use don't work together. I don't know if it's the Make It uh, Last Wash and Go Curl Primer or the Auntie Jackie's Curl Lala with this Eco Styler Gel. One of the two products don't work together. My hair feel kind of like stripped or something. I don't know. I can't really describe it. Instead of using the Eco Styler Gel, I'm going to use this Shea Moisture on the Make It Last Wash and Go Defining Gel Boil. Because I used this last week. It worked fine. So I'm just going to use this again. Now you see the difference between this one and this one. This one is kind of like thick and this one is like nice and thin. Let me see if I can just twirl this one and it will be just like the other one.
So I'm gonna finish this side and I'll be back. So I did this side. <laughs> What I've noticed so far is two of these products do not belong together. I don't know which two products it is because when they dry, they dry in like clumps. I can tell on the comb and the brush and I don't like it. The Make It Last Shea Moisture Curl Primer. I don't really care for how it feels on the hair after it didn't like dry it a little bit. My hair feels okay, but mm, yeah, no. I decided to cornrow the front down and you see I already laid my edges and what I'm gonna do is braid this side down. edges so you guys this is the finished look of the hairstyle what I'm gonna do is take this argan oil put some in my hand rub it in these twists Y'all, what I did notice is on this side, I didn't use whatever two products those was that I was using. I only used the Extreme Line Gel on this side. And on this side, I used the Extreme Line Gel with those two products. Some of them are, okay, like this one for instance. You can see like each individual twist. And then with these over here, like you can't really see it. Like it's just a fluffy twist. So what I decided that I'm gonna do is, I think it will work with a wash and go if I use the Extreme Line Gel on my dry hair. I mean, we are gonna see. That's what I'm gonna do for next week. And if it don't work out well, then I'm just gonna continue to do stuff like this. This is how it looks without the headband. But um, let me turn around so y'all can see what the back look like. So I'll see you guys in a few days with the twist out.